This is Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the October 5th meeting of the Long Beach Tree Board and Land Conservation Committee. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesslaportcounty.org. Okay, we're Call the order, I don't know what to We'll first start talking about why I'm giving out this ordinance. I know it's not the order of the agenda. We started going through each section and making changes. So then I started reading it, and then I got a copy of a markup one that Janice had done. And so I started looking at mine, and as I was doing each section, I realized hers was different than mine. It was changed. I went on the website, the tree ordinance that's in um, on our website is still the draft. It isn't the other one. So I called Janice, who the person I call about everything. <laughs> we now got Ellen, I'm sorry, um, Joyce waiting to be let in at the Zoom meeting. Oh, I'm well, sorry. They, this, they have been told this might not work. Um, so they, they have, I joined. So, um, so my tree ordinance was identical to Janice's. No, it was a draft. It was a draft. It kind of looks like her, but when you start reading each paragraph, they're different. I get it. So, and as you get into sections 9, 10, 11, there were changes that were added and that the lawyer may have. So then now we have, the one that we have now is from the lawyer. Okay. What I have done on these copies that I have given you is marked them, put all the markups of what we changed and talked about last meeting, which was in August. And then I actually added the markups that Janice had from her copy into certain sections. So, and okay, what about my markups? And get it on us and put those in there. So they, um, we, we only got to six, section six. So, and we'll get to that. So, let me get back to my agenda. <laughs> so, we can call her. Everybody's here. Um, did everyone read the minutes from August? No. Well, see, this, yeah, this is the summer of August. It's a little summer. Yes. Yeah, some of them had stuff in it, that real one, from what Janice had too, so I just kind of get silent. Um, the old business is a pre removal permit. Um, Janice, you can go. Um, okay, the, the permit, as I was going through some of the emails today, but I've seen the doctor's name and it's the key. You know, we should probably, uh, I wasn't very inclusive in this document, except for a committee. Yeah. I think we should share it with uh, Chief as the uh, town administrator and also talk golf. So they I'll get a meeting set up where you and I can go and review it. And then also it might need to be reviewed by Chris Wilby too. And then we would need to put this permit as a revision to the ordinance to say we need to have that, you know, we need to use the as permit. permit. So, um, I'm sorry if I wasn't, I'm ducking my eyes and crossing my teeth, but I bought it today. It's the same one. I don't think it's the same Is that the same word that we can have? I don't have the treat mitigation picture in it. Okay, so it had nothing to do with the tree permit for the permit? No. Okay. Except I changed the title we to, to, I changed the title to Tree Vegetation Service. Okay, okay. this should be talked about. Last month we talked about it in the second month. That's what I was talking about. We were talking about it in August, and we said we would go with this for the time being. So, Make sure, make sure you have a yeah. yeah. Make sure they have their mics on because they won't record and Zoom won't hear. Thank you. Put them up. We have those mic the brand new mics so we're working. Just put them on. Janice, you guys put your mics on. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to share with them and then we're going to. We're, we're, we're kind of we're still still a little okay. bit of time. So I just say one thing. Mm -hmm. When you when you specify trees, I think you um, you know for people with planning and status and basis. Yeah, we're not talking about that right now. I'm trying to mind the agenda. And oh, I'm not doing now. Did I need the agenda? I do. Okay. So the agenda, I'm just going to do old business and we'll get to the uh, the last at the end, we're going to be doing that. We're going to go through a few okay. more sessions on there. Okay. And we can go back to answer any questions. Okay, have. it says update of tree removal from the right. Yes, we just uh, talked about the tree, except I don't have that. Just to get you that. Um, tulip tree is the last we're talking about. We're going to go to tulip tree. Well, what are we talking about? The update. We're not, I'm just saying, we just talked to Janice. She's going to, we're going to include Tom Doff. And Chris will be, and, make, and we're still working on the uh, update of the um, tree removal permit. I think it was. Okay. I thought you said that you had done updating the tree removal permit. You did. But then now you just said we're going to talk about updating the tree removal permit. Oh, I'm sorry. We just, we, we're done with that. We're, we're talking about the two of the tree. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I confused it again. Um, Agenda if it's done. It was done, but she was still gonna she I made a mistake and didn't think through that we didn't review this with Chief and Tom yeah. Dolph. So I think it's and why only fair that we why do we have to review it with Chief and Tom Dolph? Because they're the ones that are gonna have the money in and do the work mm -hmm. and I think it would be fair to but review it with the town. Because we're only a committee and the town no, we're, 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 we're in the time. We are, so it would be inclusive to how the chief and Tom review this. So do we have to review everything we do? Yeah. Um, well, because we get our money from a line item labeled tree maintenance in the streets budget. Well, I want to talk about that. I buy don't want to get our money to that way. That will be able to talk to the town council. I have they yeah, because I guess I talked to my which is so we have no control of that money. No. So it's not a lot. Well no, we can ask for money just like we've been doing, is that we put it towards them and we like when we got the money for the tulip tree, we went to the town council and they um said yes that we could do this up a thousand dollars and we we actually went under budget, right? For the tulip tree, I mean, so five ninety-seven. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so <clears throat> okay. So, is that coming out of the town um, Dolph money, as you call it? The streets, the streets part. Yeah, that's on the street. As I went to ask, I asked Mark about us having a budget. We really don't have a budget, and then he said he was talking to Tom Dolph, and that they want to increase the budget to twenty thousand, which would help include us. I'm assuming because. Um, he said we don't have any budget. There is no budget for the tree, the tree board. Okay, so that so we don't have a budget. No, we get our monies for tree maintenance, which we're the tree committee, from that line item. In As the tree board, do we have any authority whatsoever for what? For anything? Not really. Everything was from the town council, right? Well, that's not how the tree board ordinance was written. Well, it doesn't say, well, but we'll get to that. It has all our, what our duties are and everything. I but it also, it empowered us to have authority to do things. I think we are empowered to, yeah. to make recommendations. To make recommendations, but then we have to test the money. You know, and I don't see any, I mean, if we ask for stuff like, the, like we asked for two of three, we asked, it was no big deal. I mean, we just asked, they said we can have up to a thousand hours, and we told them what we can do it for. You know, I don't, until we encounter a problem, well, we have encountered a problem. With what? With the trail not going Well, we'll talk about that. That's on the agenda. That, and we'll talk about that because we're, I think, I'm wait, let me get, let's get through the old business and we're getting on track here. So the tulip tree is going to be put in. 
Janice has done an enormous amount of work and has all worked, and you're going to be presenting it at the board meeting, right? Uh, I, well, the, the tulip tree doesn't need to be presented. Tomorrow I'm meeting with Chief and Tom mm -hmm. on the location. Yeah. Servicecape is ready to plant. They'll call and get the utilities marked. Yeah. That should happen within a week. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But they're a little bit behind on tree planting because okay. it's so dry. They've been trying to pace it with weather, right. to get a little bit of rain. So we will talk about the watering schedule, the location, everything tomorrow. We're good to go. Chief is going to take care of the administrative work with service game, getting them paid, and having the right name and number on the invoice. Okay. Okay. So then the next thing finished okay. on the agenda of so business is that we were just talking about as a tree board, as I inquired about um, getting the budget to Mark, and then he referred the matter to Tim Perry and Helen Sheridan, and that Helen sent me all of the uh, budget stuff, and there was the tree maintenance stuff, and then on other emails from Mark, he, you know, I finally figured out where the money's coming from is the streets and sands line item for tree maintenance, it's called. Okay, we have a, we have a, uh, an email from Mary Lou McBeth, mm -hmm. and it says that she talked to the chief and he and Tom had already discussed the town should budget money specifically for the tree board mm -hmm. to be used to remove trees or pay for such items as an mm -hmm. So that doesn't sound like we have to go to town every time we want money. That sounds like we actually yes. have, we, we have authority to spend whatever our budget is. We don't have to spend But Mary Lou, when she talked to the chief, this is what she wrote. Right, but I still think we have to go to the chief to get the money. Well, that's not what this says. I know, but in everything, and that was what this day not that was the last day. Yeah, so I think that's how we started out, and then we found out this. Then I, then I, in August, I had uh, talked to, sent emails to him, and then he referred it. There was probably a misconception of budget, our budget, tree budget, tree maintenance budget. And finally, it's uh, the tree maintenance budget is in the streets department's big budget. It's a line item. I totally understand that. Yeah. What I don't understand is why we don't ask for our own budget. I don't know, you know, right now, I don't know what we need the budget for. I mean, I'm trying to. Well, if we're going to get, we're not going to start talking about the tree. No, we're not going to do that, but that's, that's just one thing. Yeah. I mean, if, if, we, if we have the authority to say what trees can come down on, 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 mm -hmm. on, uh, on each property, then we have we should have the authority to pay for that. I think one we should have to go to Tom Belt or Chief to get permission. Well, well it all has to the budget has to buy all out for the town. When you look at all the work that needs to be done for trees, there's no way we would have enough budget to do that work in one year. So I think we need to be work. respectful of things. Saying, we have hired uh, Tom Belt has a different uh, mindset. Than tree board. Mm -hmm. And therefore, one shouldn't have to rely on the other for permission. I don't think we're authorized to spend money, so we need to use the town's money. Okay, and I think we should ask for authorities. But we can ask, but right now, this is what I've been told well, by the town administrator, by Mark, that it's, and then after I got this, I had all the stuff from Helen, and it's in the street. No, no, I understand that. What is the budget? What is the budget process? At the town council, when do you get, when do you propose your budget? It will be approved at this next at the October meeting. So we should ask that we have our own budget. Well, we did, and they told us that we don't have. We don't as of now, but in October they can make. Which will be effective January first. Yes, they, they can, if you don't ask to be put in the budget. You're never going to be in the budget. I did. I inquired. We're not in the budget now. I know it. But that doesn't mean we can't be in the budget as of October. I did inquire to Mark. He said, we aren't. I asked him about getting a budget. And he referred me to Tim Perry and Helen, and that's what they showed me. Can we table this and have another meeting with Chief? 
so that we have an understanding. I don't have a cell phone. I have a phone. Because he is the administrative manager for the town of Long Beach. He controls the projects and the budget and the monies. All of the money he controls? No. 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 And he works with the town council. I'm sure he doesn't just. He works with the clerk. Well, why can't we petition the town council for our own The street is the city water man. To the chief. The street, I'm sorry. The street, street and water reports to the, the chief. chief. And so, the, the other thing is, just as an example. Now, when did that happen? Is that the ordinance? It, I, is, no. No. The, the that happened the this year. We were looking. I bet you. Yeah, I can't. I bet you. Yeah. I said. It's very important because it, the people with the money get to do what they want. If you don't have any money, you might not, you, you, you may as well not exist. Well, I don't know that the I agree. Chief came, uh, he became the chief slash town administrator. We looked for a town administrator for over a year and we had a couple candidates. It just didn't work out. He's very capable of doing that. But I just want to give you an example. So I'm on the water uh, department. And one of the, the substation over off of Moore Road, something broke down and we needed the money. Well, it's in the budget, but we still give the courtesy to the town mm -hmm. to say, we're going to spend it. Oh, it's, it's a courtesy, mm -hmm. you know, here's a, we have this money, it's budgeted, we're going to spend it. And then the council approved it. So maybe they're overdoing it, but that's, that's how they do it. It's kind of communications. Well, no, that's fine. Yeah. But that's a courtesy. It sounds like we're asking for permission. We're not we're not doing it as a courtesy because we don't have a budget. But there will be a budget January first. And what will that be? I think he was asking for the, the tree maintenance to go up to twenty dollars. No, that's tree maintenance budget. What is the tree for? It? The tree maintenance is the same as the tree for it. I think so. Tree maintenance is on the tree board. No. Well, no. we, if, if we are yeah. responsible for trees on public property. Correct. So, and then, and so this line item in the budget is for trees on town property, mm -hmm. as I understand. We, that. Have no we have recommendations, and I think we do have some authority. No, we don't have authority. Well, I don't. I have, I can't say because I haven't seen it. But I'll give you an example. There was a tree that was dead. At the water tower, and that had to come down. I, I don't know how much it costs to come down, but it was probably a sizable piece of something that wasn't in the budget because there wasn't a line item previously for these things. It just came under maintenance as well. Pre maintenance. Yeah. So there are things that are going to happen throughout the year where our recommendations may be trumped by something that happens with trees in the tap. So I think it's a give and take, and we work on good relationships and move forward. And the same with storms or anything that's written down, you know, someone's going to have to clean up. So I think he has a, a good faith effort, the tree board and the sand, you know, because he cuts trees now, should work together. And we, right now, we're not very good at communicating because we've had um, even Mark had problems. He had asked us about the tree over at 29, and then it turned around and the town had cut down. So, yeah, because it was makes the decision. No, he, Mark he asked Tom. Mark asked Tom to cut it down because he didn't hear from us. We hadn't met, and we had gone over, we just, you know, in a timely manner, and that was a area that they were using to access the beach, and they needed it to come down because that's where they could have the equipment for it. That's why the tree went down, that's why time took it down. You know, so it was just a case of that. So I think when we're talking about tree maintenance, I mean, it goes across everything. I do know that the um, parks board has their own budget, right? So and they, and they deal with the trees and all that. So I, we should be able to, and if they want to delineate tree, we, we're going to have to talk to Mark and then talk to the town council about are we, would they give us a budget? Would that be the way we go about doing it? I see if we can get it out of budget for meetings. Mm -hmm. I, I would think so. Yeah, both the town council. All right, so we'll look into that. Now, I had thought I had done that, but I had talked to Mark, and he then it came back that he didn't know and he referred me to the Perry Health Chair because they're the clerk, the clerks. I mean, they're the money. Sure. 
uh, we already talked about that. Um, demonstration, are we, this, you know, like these other two ones are going to come out of us doing the, um, the permit. And these are going to be things that we think we should be doing as a tree board demonstration area for tree branch clearance on top of streets. What type of you are you? I'm on the agenda. Where? I'm out here in the business. What do we do about uh, Charlie Dempsey? It's fun. We already did that. Yes, this is all business. It's parks for us. We don't do anything. The park is handling that. Park and recreation board is handling that. Okay. That's the stop. Okay. So they're doing that. And then the Long Beach Street Origins. That's, we went through sections one through seven. But you said that's different because now we have. No, the first, the first seven are, are pretty. Are, we're consistent on, on, on the three different ordinances that I was looking at, copies of the ordinance that I was looking at. So, demonstration here. And then I had put this in there about ideas for what we could do as a tree board uh, about the clearance of town uh, tree branches that are hanging too long and a community outreach providing instruction and information on how different invasive things and. Um, making up a list of a lot of guys in the tree when it says we go along about things that we're going to do. So, and then, so, wait, are we going to talk about the new business? The new business is the ordinance. So, I will just put those in there. They're going to be covered as we go through the ordinance. When do you have your cell phone? I don't care. But cell phones will cost that if you have your cell phone. In your My cell phone is up. Okay. Well, I, I don't think that's the all, just not near the mic. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. 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 So we, um, the tree removal, oh, oh, this is the one thing we got to talk about the tree removal and the other way behind the home at stop 22. I did go by it. I did see how it was. This is the one by you, the tree that you want removed. Right. And that one is, um, I can see where trucks and cars and stuff have run into it. My only question to you is, one, it's not adjacent to your property, and two, did you ever ask the people next to you that are next to that tree if they like having that tree there? That probably gives them some shade. When they park their cars in the driveway, mm -hmm. and that tree is there, sometimes I have a hard time driving by. You're talking about your side. I'm talking about the people on Chaselton, where that tree is right next to their property. They face Chaselton. Okay, do they have to? That they, tree? Don't, they don't drive there. All I'm saying is that tree is right in front of their, the side of their house where there's windows. They might want that tree there because it's providing them with shade. That tree is in the right of way. <laughs> they can get around it. Everybody's been getting around it for. It's gotten bigger over the years. Yeah. You probably didn't start out at that time. And then did you read the email? Yeah. The roadway is 12 feet. And what's now the right of way is 22 to 25 feet. That, so that's common property. Okay. And so at that point, that roadway is 10 feet 4 inches. Okay. So that's considerable. So what is the rest of the roadway? 12 feet. 12 feet. So it's already a on the road. Yes, it's on the road. Right. It's not only in the right of way, it's on the road. Okay, so you you can ask. I want the tree removed. Oh, I know you want it removed, but who? Because it, it's a safety hazard. You asked someone about getting it removed, and Tom Bell went and looked at it and said it's a healthy tree. Yeah, I, it has nothing to do with whether it's healthy. Yeah, yeah. So now we're going to just go back and say it's impinging on the roadway again. And what did they say? They measured. The roadway at my house, and he said that it's 12 feet, and that's probably good enough. They do measure the road right there. Okay. And Ricardo said, This is not the right of way. It's an analogy. It is an It's not an analogy because I showed you in my email that I wrote, extent, I did extensive research. An alleyway is the same as a right, a right of way. Okay. It's not different in the town of Vincent's. But I haven't moved there. Well, so I that's, what I, that's, that's what I said. I just looked at the map here, and it's listed as an alleyway. I like that, but we've extended down in my house too. Yeah. But so, so then, so this is this is the whole thing about whether or not we have any authority. Mm -hmm. The chief said, "Go to the tree board." 
and the tree board says okay, then the tree board can go to the town council and see if they say it's okay. Well, in the original ordinance draft that we were reading, mm -hmm. it said the tree board, and Bob LeMay also wrote another email about this during the J board or whatever. What I know, the 1302, uh, we're really want to take that He said the tree board makes the decision, and that can be, if, if the person doesn't like the decision, they can take it to the town council. Okay. We don't. We don't take our decisions. Don't go to the town council. Someone who disagrees with our decision can petition the town council. We, but we. No, I know from Dr. Newhouse, she went to the town council with our decision. And no, because they. Yeah. No, the people at thirteen oh two went to the town council, and she was defending our decision. Right, but it's in here. You, it gives them. An, you, we can say yes, this is what we want to do, and it gives the people that we're saying no to the right to go to the town council and we want that. Correct. Right. Oh, yes. The and tree board makes the decision. I'll, I'll go back. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll, we can I'll find that email from, mm -hmm. from Bob Bay. Mm -hmm. He says, during that whole incident, he said the tree board makes the decision. Mm -hmm. It can be, you can, the people who don't like the decision can go to the town mm -hmm. council. Yeah, I think we all know. Yeah. Well, if we can make the decision, then why do we have to take our decision to the town council to get approved? If we have the authority to make the decision. Okay, now you're talking about someone that has asked us about cutting trees down on town property. We said no. They went to the town council and said, well, we'll rebut on that. That's in the town. That is in the order. So are you saying no? That tree cannot come down? Yeah, well, we haven't even talked. Talk. We haven't. We just started talking about it. Okay. And the reason, so I'm just asking you what you had said. You said you had talked to Tom Dolph originally about this. The chief and Tom Dolph both came out. Okay. They looked at the tree. Mm -hmm. Tom Dolph said, "It's not the right way. This is an alleyway. I'm not taking it down." And they went away. Okay. And the chief said, "Go to the town. Go to the tree board." I said, "I'm on the tree board." Okay. He said, we'll see what they say. All right. Well, then we're going to have to look at what the rules are for how wide that street should be. And if it's impinging the street, then we're going to have to do something. Well, yeah, but the whole email I wrote. Yeah. I didn't get the email. Yeah, so I did. Yeah. I wrote it to everybody. Jane, you'll have to go through the same process that a homeowner would do and bring it to the tree board, and then we would discuss it. In I got it. Here it is. Well, I don't think everyone got the email, and I don't think it was brought up at any other it time. Was, it so was a best problem. I understand, but it needs to come up at a meeting. Okay, it is. Okay, it's okay. And yeah. so we don't have all the, everyone isn't prepared to discuss that. I think we should put it on the agenda for next month to take a okay. discussion. Okay. Are we going to have Zoom up and running right next month? Zoom up running? Now, that's something I can't answer. I have no idea about because now, now, now I, I know you you know that's the other way I meant to uh, attend for the next six, six months. Okay. But so I, I have get, we know that the chief is gonna get somebody to come in and fix whatever's not working here. Um fix what's not working. So as far as infrastructure and zoom, that is out of my hands. Yeah. Sometimes it works. He said if it's a cloudy day, sometimes it doesn't. We don't know what happened today. But I know he wants to put it on the budget to have a dark wire for next yeah, year. That'd be yeah. okay. Well I'd appreciate it if people would read the emails that are sent to them. Well I do. The chief sent an email in answer to my email. I sent another email to the entire tree board and uh, the Tom Ball and, and Mary Lou and uh, Chief. Yeah. I know I know I have some emails in here for me. Mark says, Tom says it's not in the right way. Okay. He's mistaken. The tree is in the right way. Alright, so we need to have this spot. So we're gonna have to go out there. I have to look in the ordinance, figure out. How we do have that in the ordinance. I said not only not, not only the tree ordinance, it's not only in the tree ordinance, it's in other word, town ordinances that describe the right way. 
But it's an alleyway. It's an okay. alleyway is a right of way. That's how they are described as right of way in the town ordinances and the tree board ordinance. Okay. But as far as, um, I mean, I don't know why I went through all the trouble if no one was going to read their emails. Well, I think I read the email. It was a few few months ago, but you know, and then they said no, and I had to run back to read it. So, I'm sorry, but, uh, but it wasn't uh, up to them to say no. Well, then you should still have that. I mean, I did. I don't know. Are we going to go into new business? Because it seems like we just go here over and over and over. I have to apply. Okay. So, and we got a bad picture. Okay. That's this. So um, we had done up to seven, which is, you can see the markups. They set the new tree ordinance as a damn second. I know. On the agenda, well, is it 99.07? It's 99.09. We start with utility. utilities. That's where we're starting. So, okay, the town tree, no town trees other than a species listed as small tree according to this ordinance may be planted under or within 10 horizontal feet of overhead utility wire or within 10 yellow feet of a fire rack. So this is all pretty much state code. Uh, the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission regulates the utility. The town the town tree board may ask to review a utility tree trimming plan before any trimming of the utility of the company. How we would do that, I have no idea. But they usually just come out and start talking. <laughs> you said for my examples. Okay. And then the next section. This seems to be pretty good, except that we wanted to add um, about eliminating invasive species. Which is something that we're gonna that I had in on new business too. It's like coming up with a list of invasive species and stuff like that that we can then put up, add on to this ordinance. So the town shall have the right to that's, that was what I was getting to with the other thing um, before you got to this section. Once you start listing invasives, mm -hmm. if you miss one, a person can say this wasn't on your list. Mm -hmm. So I, I think sometimes you don't want to be that specific. Well, I think maybe we probably look at invasives that are typical to this area that we might want to consider, but that we know people have another, we don't have to listen. Last, uh, the last time we met, I referred to the South Bend, yes. extensive list of invasives and permissible trees. They keep theirs up with their tree board. Yeah. Practically, so if we refer to that, I think that would be a okay. uh, great reference. Yeah, you can know, refer to something South Bend to the South Bend ordinance on trees because they have a whole spreadsheet that's very, very extensive. Well, that's good. Okay, because you need to understand that. Yep. So, let's see. Within the right of way, lines of all trees, alleys, avenues, lanes, squares, and public rocks, and all three of them are all over in the county for the avenues and lanes. Um, and public rocks are going to be necessary to ensure public safety or to preserve, uh, enhance the symmetry and beauty of the public rocks. Okay, this section actually goes to what? Removing that tree behind the alleyway. Um, we, there's some other stuff as we go, go through here. Um, the town is part of it. Um, the town tree board may recommend the street, to the street superintendent to remove or, or cause or order to be removed any town tree or part of any such tree which is unsafe in unsafe condition or which by reason of its nature is injurious to sewers, electric lines, gas lines, or other public improvements, or is affected with any injurious fungus, um, insects, or other pests. The section does not prohibit the planting of trees, tree trees by the adjacent property owner, providing that the selection and location of said trees in its ordinance with um, 
section 9907-9909 of this ordinance, but it is recommended that the property owners can stop from the tree for or instead of needing for any such plantings. But they can't, they can't plant on the public way. Right. right. Um, unless they can, yeah, I mean, I, I, there's a lot of trees and stuff that are planted on public property that people take care of. I think that's kind of like you know, and if a tree, so if a tree came down and it's on public property and someone said, why would you put it on the tree? We're going to say, no, they're going to pay for it and let them put the tree up. But it didn't have to be a tree that would be invasive or something. Mm -hmm. Or it should also have to be something that fit on that space. Yeah. And we'd have to also fulfill it's the guidelines of if there are power yeah. lines as well as um, in the neighborhood Mary Lou and I live in, we have SOAR, which is Michigan City, but I don't know what the agreement on tree maintenance is for sewers and tree root. So that's something we might want to investigate. Well, anybody putting a tree up usually has someone come and plant it. And not, nope, there isn't a company out there that's going to plant a tree that I can look at all the utilities and have everything marked because that's the law before you can plant anything. So. That would definitely be. But people plant trees on their own and don't consider the power lines or the sewer lines um, necessarily. Um, the power lines above, yeah. not underground, but that's that part that says. Yeah. You know, so we just need to uh, make, make good communications. Yeah. You know, maybe once or twice a year we have a, okay, it's tree planting time, let's send reminders to people. So, um, section 9911, cleaning for clearances. So, this gives us all the dimensions on um, doing the corner clearance. Um, any street or right away within the town may be pruned so that the bridge shall not be obstructed the light from any street lamp or obstruct view of any street intersection sign. And so, that should be a clear space for many. For a space of more than 13 feet above street surface, all dead, diseased, or dangerous town trees or broken caplins. No. So, this is about we got to clean up all that. Okay, stuff. but uh, all right, there's a, I see a picture. Janice Roberts, mm -hmm. she was on the tree board. Mm -hmm. She gave us this uh, lawyer blog. And it's this, it's, it shows you case on case. And specifically um, says that this can't be done. Trees and vegetation growing on private land near a roadway may sometimes obstruct owners' view of other traffic, mm -hmm. especially when approaching the intersection. As of the date of this update, Indiana courts have held that a private landowner owes no legal duty to the motoring public to remove or reduce obstructions on his own property. So this this this, this, is, this is only town property. I'm only talking about town. The lawyer, when he went through this, he took out anything that we said private property. This ordinance can only talk about town property. Oh, so we so only town property. So we can only make town property right here to this right. stuff. Yeah. So one thing I gleaned when I went through the whole ordinance since I, I just got this and. And this is from the lawyer that anything that we had in any of our drafts, yeah, so that's that's about, not a that's property, he took out any private property, it's not even low okay. ends. Sure. So, which keeps us, we can only write about the public, long being public property. So, and then we talked about um, having the right way to prune trees and shrubs for private, on private, but when it, the town shall have the right to prune. Any tree or shrub on private land. Yeah, they have some kind of I know it is. I just, you just said this was all about town property. Right. He, and private. All, anything that we had in there that when we compared it with public property or private property, he took out the private property. So the town should have the right to prune any tree or shrub on a private property when it interferes with the property spread of light along the street or the street light obstructs the tree. So now we're talking probably the canopy, which is different than it being on the ground. So any brand these like the utilities. So any branch or anything that's obstructing a, a sign, even though 
the trunk of the tree would be on the private property, but it has grown to such that it's in front of the sign, we can cut that down because now it's reached into public property. So we would have that to be able to do safety. And the same thing with the branches that hang over. I can't tell you how many times I see garbage trucks driving down the street with branches and I would think there's a ribbon the branches up the trees they're so low. But so I think that that is what this is alluding to. Things that are that are on private property that have grown into the area on public property that is obstructing things and uh, causing people that are trying to get through with, you know, to have the people that have good slant side when driving to be driving, walking, right bicycle. So that's kind of so like only that. only those things obstructing things on public property. If a branch grew in front of a stop sign, we can cut it down. Because that the stop sign what's not a branch that grows over a, a roadway. Well, unless it Unless we should be able to cut it down because it's over public property. Okay, because there's quite a few of us. Yeah, like any pictures of the cell Yeah. And we have had, well, Janice has gotten into some of these um, exhibits of where, how, where trees should be cut that are hanging too low and all that. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff that we can do. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Stop 20, 2024. 20, as a tree overhanging the roadway, and it's a miracle that those branches have been falling out. So you can set a top belt there. Oh, I haven't met that in So, anyway, um, I have something here. Pruning shall begin only after the homeowner has been notified by certified mail sent to the other recorded So anything that we would be pruning that is on their growing off of their property because it's obstructing something on the public property, we have to notify. We can't just, we should, I guess that's in good faith too. So um, the homeowner has has been notified by certified mail, sent the address, the record of chain from the town. Uh, water department and has 14 days prior to the start of the proposal. The homeowner will be given the opportunity to trim the trees themselves if they so decide. Only one attempt will be made to notify the homeowner tree limbs that grow near a high voltage electrical conductor shall be maintained clear of such conductors by the electrical utility and compliant with any um, applicable franchise agreements. That's there. And so we have exhibit A. Exhibit. Yeah. This is kind of talking about where the tree height is. The yes. The question that is in my mind is who's going to do all the paperwork here because there's a tremendous amount of stuff that it, it, it says here if we're, we see something that's wrong. We see a tree that's a branch that goes over mm -hmm. the stop sign. We will contact the owner before we do anything. So somebody's going to do the contact, and someone's going to have to sit there and have be aware when the owner says, "Okay, I'm not going to do it. You do it." You're going to, who's going to be the person that's going to be doing all of this work? Yeah. Well, this is a chance where if we really want to modify this portion of the ordinance, we could because the towns I've lived in, it was part of the city ordinance that said we will maintain the trees and if the, your trees are obstructing right away in the city, we have a schedule and this is when we're coming through your neighborhood. There was no notification by certified mail. It was just this is how we run our town. So if we want to change this, I suggest we modify it to say the town has the right and will come in and maintain streets, uh, trees that are. Okay, so then what you would be doing in that particular case is uh, that branch or other branches that seem to be going over the electric overground, uh, you'll have some tree people come over, run by the city tomorrow. And I'll look up and I'll say, oh, that tree is, geez, they really cut a hell of a lot of that tree. So you can, if you remove that, those comments, you have total control by the city to do whatever they want. Excuse me. I know. I do whatever they wish to do. And well, I think the city's not going to do anything that they know the utilities will. Because they're not going to go around cutting 
tree branches around these bringing up utilities. The utilities come through every year and cut branches that are coming near any of those um, wires and everything. So that is something standard. Everybody that's lived anywhere knows that. I think what we're talking about is unusual sections of the one beach that might need to be cleared up because it's obstructing people's view to walk and drive. Okay, yeah. now the reason I brought that up is that from my ignorance, I was not aware of the fact that uh, NIPSCO yeah. was going to be doing anything. So thank you for clearing that. Yeah, NIPS, NIPSCO, and they don't, they they're not, not, and they're not artistic. Well, I I I see a lot of lines that are obstructed by branches that NIPSCO has never touched. I don't know what to tell you, to me. but they do come and come. They come through if you walk. No, no, they come through. I'm not with your picture, right? They come through and all of a sudden they're going tree to tree to tree to tree. And usually the town council will They'll say something like when they were putting in new uh, electrical things, they said they're going to come through. The you know a lot of times the utilities notify the town to kind of send something out to all of us and lets us know that something like that could be happening. So. Yes, no. I think there is a question. Yeah. It, it does force the town. That if you got this thing in here where the town will contact you as a homeowner, you have 14 days. That puts an obligation on the town to do nothing until that 14 days is up. You're going to have to have someone sitting somewhere coordinating all of those. Well, that's if there's a lot to coordinate. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, if we're going to set up maintenance and we're going to, that's going to be something that this committee is going to do, and we're going to go through the same one section of one beach and we're going to start trimming trees and we're going to do this and that, then we would write up what we're going to do and notify the homeowners that this is what's going to be done. So, so, so being proactive rather than asking permission. My only thing is if this is in here, and let's say we're in the homeowner. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it says what it says here, and all of a sudden the trees, people come in and start cutting. I may mean, look at this and say, you violated your own rules. Right. So what we're saying is that we should rewrite this. I don't know. I'm not really bringing up the question. I, I, you know, I, I'm the okay. an ignorant person. No, you're not. You're not. It's a good job. It's, it's like, who's, we can write all these rules and write, but who's going to do it? It's a good idea. And we, we need to put a big asterisk by it. We're going to rewrite this paragraph so it becomes more of a something that a maintenance kind of thing that Long Beach is going to do and tell people we're coming through and doing it. This is why it's a good idea to jointly have good communications with everybody that has anything to do with trees, whether it's parks, whether it's the, the town employees, whether it's the tree board. It behooves us to all get together and understand what our policies and what's what the town is capable of doing too. And limited. <laughs> and limited. Yeah, there's limitations too. So, but I don't know those. I don't know that any of us know that. We all just should get together and sit down and say, "Here's all the issues on the table. What's the best approach?" Well, we brought up the question. Our, our leaders can get together with the town council, the important people, mm -hmm. because we're just subsidiaries. Yeah. And you know, who's ever leading our committee grabs that information and with the other lady over there handles it and comes back down and we say thank you. Well, we're going to rewrite this section to make it a little bit clearer so we don't have to be running around policing because it does sound like we're policing when they don't want it to be yet. So I have it. And I know. So that's why we're going through this. To, that's why I, I went in and did all the markups from previous drafts. And you know, the last thing I say, move it. Let's just do, we're going to stop after this because it's almost five o'clock and we don't like plan too much. So we're going to do this removal of stumps and other debris. All stumps of town trees may be removed when conditions allow. 
Um, and the resulting holes shall be filled to the surface and replanted to remain consistent with adjacent conditions. If this cannot be done immediately or it is not practical, the area shall be protected according to the current town practice for excavations. Debris shall be removed by the town in a timely manner. All contractors shall be responsible for the removal and disposal of all debris. So this is kind of an example of this. Debris shall be removed within one week of completion of work. And this is actually something that Streets does. They did that over uh, 24. They took the tree down, took the stump out, put all the dirt in it, and they think they put seed in it. So that's kind of um, probably another reason why we all have to be nice. <laughs> so interference with town tree board. All right, let's do 99.13 and we'll stop there. Do the rest of the um, is that okay? We're going to have people second it or is it something like that? Okay, okay. It shall be okay. Uh, interference with town tree board. It shall be unlawful for any person to prevent, delay, or interfere with the town tree board or any individual or company working for or in the direction of the tree board uh, engaging in and about. The inspecting, planning, cultivating, mulching, pruning, spraying, or removing any town trees, or as specifically authorized in this ordinance, any trees on private grounds after being given proper notice in section 9911. It goes back to what we're going to be rewriting. So, this was against what you're suggesting that we talk to the neighbor to see no. if it's okay that we remove a tree. On no, it's not. Property. No. Into just open the no, the town we're talking about we're, uh, we're talking about stuff that's grown on private property that is going invading public property. That's what this is talking about. This is called going back to 9911, which we're gonna read right. No, no, I'm talking about 9913. I know 9913 refers to 9911 on the bottom, proper notice. You look at the bottom of the thing right here, 9911. Okay, that's page four. And we're going to rewrite that, which means the rewriting of 9911 will make this make more sense because you're right. It's still talking about private property, what we're doing. This will be fine once we have this clarified. So, see, it is a mess. You just told me the bad part. Understand? No. <laughs> okay. Who's going to do all this rewriting? I do. So, we're trying to get an original copy from the lawyer. If not, we're going to start rehiding the whole thing because we need well, to get it. Actually, I asked um, when I sent that email, I asked Dr. LeMay if the um, attorney, you know, we could give it to the attorney and their offices would do that. It depends on. Who's going to want to give us a, a document to edit? And, and if they don't, then we're going to have. Uh, so this isn't the document that we're editing. Yeah, we are editing this. What she's saying is that if we edit it, we have to give it to the lawyer, and the lawyer will then make the changes in it. Us. I want what I'm trying to get is the word document, so I can go in and edit. It. I don't know if they're going to like. I mean, I think they can give me a copy of it. Let me edit it. They would still have the one that they have now that's the past, so they would see I could do it in different ink, whatever. So it would, it would show what we're changing. So we just have to communicate with the lawyers and say, you know, we're not, we can't change anything because they'd have to be signed it anyway. So it's just that it'd be easier and start from the beginning to retype myself. That's why I'm not in right now. That's where we're at. So. So what I have written down here for us to do is this whole memory 911 section we want to do right. That'll be on the next 
just hand off. I know Chief Swiss Tech was out there as well. It's your tree that you're talking about. Um, I think that it was a little self-serving for you to hijack the meeting for about 30 minutes to talk about your tree. There's a process and a procedure. It involves an agenda. I think you taking to task your fellow board members for not having reviewed your email and how do they make legal decisions that they didn't know, uh, you know, the discussion that you had with Chief Swistak, they didn't know your discussion with Tom Dolph. And I think that to sit on a board and then take 30 minutes at least minimum to discuss what you want done and whether there's money. And then you said you wanted to know about that money because then you could take your tree down. Um, again, there is, and it was disrespectful to Chief Swistek as well. I'd like to comment on that. I, it's not my tree. I, we're not talking about tree. Well, it's a tree that you're we're discussing. We're talking about a tree down that is in the public right of way that is a hazard to the people driving. That's down. your opinion, and I know Chief Swistek and Tom Dolph have been out there and have talked to you, and I'm not here to argue. I'm just saying it's disrespectful to your no, fellow board members. And it wasn't even on the agenda. It was on the agenda. For you to talk about it for a half hour and then well, to berate them for not I having read I your email. About it for a half hour. Oh, I did time it. It was more than a half hour. Um, number two, you mentioned that you will not be here for six months. I think you probably would want to review the Zoom rules and the rules for personal attendance at meetings. You don't just get to say that you won't be here for six months. Is a forum of real people I can attend by Zoom. I just wanted the, the, your board to know that your pronouncement that you can't be here for six months is... Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just saying that it is disrespectful and how you just decided that this meeting would be about the tree that you want taken down. No, this, no. It, it really was. So I wrote a lot of notes and I timed it. So anyhow, good luck next time. Maybe put it on the agenda. It was on the agenda. You can say first it's about second article time.